dear students and working accountants welcome to my smart tally prime class youtube channel my name is babu rao from hyderabad <coughs> sorry in the last video we discussed about the we discussed about the vouchers accounting vouchers so when after when a transaction takes place so there will be a source document with the help of source document we have to decide we have to decide in which what is the what is the correct accounting entry for recording the transaction so you have to select the trans i mean uh, recording i mean uh, accounting voucher to record the transaction so we know we discussed how to discuss and we did a some uh, transactions also by just viewing the transaction seeing the transaction we have to decide the nature of transaction and you have to decide which accounting voucher is the correct voucher to record the transaction so complete so we know we have the source document and we know which which accounting voucher we have to record we selected then next work is we have to record the transaction in the voucher before that we have to know some more topics some more topics to record correctly to record correctly we have to know some more topics and i will take you to the screen in that the first one is there are two more first i will take the first one is some special and very advanced feature for this tally prime for this tally prime it is the special feature and advanced feature this feature is not available in the old version tally erp9 it is not available it is the only available or advanced feature or and special feature for this tally prime only it is called as this called as see here the most important advanced feature of tally prime is go to and switch to switch to also we can say shift to shifting from here to another place from one home to another home we are shifting like that so switching means switching over from here to other place that's a so switch to or shift to both are same so go to and switch to with the, the, there is a little difference between these two that's all both are same with little difference so this is the special feature for the tally prime so we have to know what is that simply i will tell you see in this tally prime if you are working in any screen so any screen is any page either it may be voucher or ledger or anything anywhere if you are working so if you want to see some report you want to see some report or you want to create some other voucher or some other uh, what you call uh, uh, not only voucher you, masters that means ledger account you want to create any other master or any i mean voucher that is accounting voucher or you want to see some report you want to see some report for example when you are receiving received a money money from a debtor we will record it in the received money means receipt to entry i mean receipt to uh, voucher we will record that is the accounting entry when you are receiving entering the transaction or recording the transaction in the receipt to voucher we may want to know actually what is the balance or what are the transactions in his account from one person we received from the debtor so you want to see what are the transactions and what is the balance in that person that, that that account so we want to see that so you want to see that we need not close this go back to tally prime i mean uh, gateway of tally and from there we need not go to the ledger simply from here from the when you are entering the receipt voucher from this contact accounting voucher directly you can go to you can go to that report that is the ledger report the ledger account of the particular person it is called ledger report we can go directly to the ledger report and we can see so how you will go so for going there this is the option i will show in the tally prime it is the option go to go to the short key for that is the short key for that is alt g that button will be available on the top in the middle on the top it will be available in tally prime go to so if you press alt g we can directly go to that place so i will show you here that is called go to function it is the most advanced function go to it is not available in tally prime i mean tally erp9 see here see you are selecting a company when you select a company 
when you are working in a company only you can use that that's why you see on the top in the middle go to it is disabled when i only when you select a company and you are working in a company then only it will be enabled see here we entered this so in the gateway of tally we selected sri venkateswara enterprises so now that is vertical but to say that uh, go to is enabled go to is enabled so here if you click this go to function you can go anywhere for example i will tell you here you can see any reports also here our first of all our task is now we learned everything about the vouchers we have to record in a voucher we have to record in a voucher means the accounting voucher you have to enter enter means you have to create so accounting voucher you have to create so in this case how i told you in all these options one in all these options in masters transactions i mean uh, utilities reports in all these there are many other options are there in all the headings there are many options for each option one letter one alphabet will be in capital in capital and highlighted with blue color for every option see here for create the, the option is for create the option is c for alter the option is a for chart of accounts c is already is taken that's why next one h is the h is c h is enabled i mean it is in blue color with high i mean capital letter that is capital means upper case alphabet okay for all this like that for vouchers the key is v v v is c it is in blue color with capital so c so what we can do is we can go to v and you can click that with mouse or you can click simply v in the keyboard so we are going to the voucher the see here on the right, right left side accounting voucher creation we are creating the accounting voucher in this whatever voucher you want you know we learned about the vouchers f4 to f10 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 is others means all the vouchers more other than these vouchers all will be other special vouchers will be in that other vouchers then yeah, button okay so all these will be available so whatever we want to work now so that button for example we are receiving money so receipt if you click receipt is f6 f6 if you click f6 in the keyboard or click in the right side button bar right side button menu if you click that so receipt voucher is opening okay so like that from tally of i mean gateway of tally so you can select the concerned option and you can do so vouchers you are going here there is another more another method is there so instead of clicking voucher or going the, doing like this but this is easy going this so we can go to some other place also we can do so with the help of g see here we can we can click alt g see if you click alt g it will go or simply alt g in the keyboard alt g also we can click here there are a lot of reports here show more means some more is there if you double click that so it will show all the vouchers so on the left side all the reports different reports are there what are report you want to see balance sheet profit and loss account trail balance stock statement everything all the reports are available on the left side and if you want to create something create a voucher create a master alter a master all these that will be available on the right side so now here create voucher if you click that if you click double click the same receipt voucher has come so from there you can open that voucher and here this is a very simple thing not only that you are entering receipt i told you na when you are entering the receipt then you are entering the receipt from a particular particular person from a particular person what is his balance you want to see now you go to alt g you go to this one in this case see here the ledger reports ledger reports means you can go here outstanding ledger outstanding what is the balance so here you, you, no account is there otherwise all the ledger accounts will be displayed here so if you select that person enter so the ledger balance and the details will be available we can see this then we will go back to again from where we came we came from the receipt voucher so and see if you click escape we came to receipt voucher we came to receipt voucher so from receipt voucher only we went to the report after viewing the report we came back to the receipt voucher similarly not like this in any screen you are working 
without disturbing the work and without closing this work, you can go to some other screen or window. You can go to some other screen, whatever you want, you want a report, you want to create a something, whatever you want, you can do there and click escape, press escape and you will come back to the original work. That is from the original screen, you will come back that work is not disturbed. So without disturbing your work in any particular screen, you can go to some other screen for you to see the any report, to see any report, GST report, balance sheet, profit and loss and all. To see any report or to create any voucher, to create a master, to alter a master, for all the purposes it will solve. So you can do there. And then escape, I mean, press escape, come back to the original work. So that work is not disturbed. It is as it is. This is the feature of go to. So on the upper, see if, if you mouse, if you take it to close, go up and come back. Go up and come down. If you click it, we will go to the this report. This has list of reports. Or you can click Alt G in the keyboard also. So this is about go to. So from any screen, you can go to any screen. And after that, looking after that screen, any work, then come back to the original work without any disturbing. So original work will not be disturbed. It will be as it is. This is called, this is called go to function. This is called go to function. So this is another one with a little difference. Another one with a default difference. Here we are pressing, what we are pressing? Alt go to, we are pressing Alt, we are pressing Alt go to. With a little difference, Control go to. If you make it, Control go to. If you make that we will discuss later again. I will tell you now. Control go to. Control go to means we will go to another screen from one screen by disturbing the screen. That is, when they are working in a screen, if you press Control G, Control G means we switch to some other work, this work will be closed. This will be closed and you'll go to that work. So that screen will open and we'll do the work. And if you press escape, we cannot come back to the original because it is disturbed, it is closed. When you switch it from here to another work, the original work is closed, that is disturbed. We'll go, from there, we can cannot come back. From there, we can go back to tally, that is the gateway of tally only. So here, from this screen, going to gateway of tally, going to some other work, instead of that, from here we are going directly, directly to some other screen and from the screen we can go back, we can come back to the original screen, Alt G. We cannot come back to the original screen that is closed, we can, we have to go back to the gateway of tally, that is Control G. That is the only difference. Without disturbing the current screen or current work, we will go to some other work and some other screen and come back again here if you press Escape, that is the feature of, I mean, go to Alt G. And from one screen to another screen, we go by disturbing the original work. That is, first work is originally disturbed, disturbed, and it will not be there. And from there, after looking after that work, from there, if you can press escape, we cannot come back to the original work. We will go back to the, we can go back to gateway of tally only. So, the disturbing the work, we will go there. And from there, we cannot come back. We will go to, we will go to gateway of tally. That is the feature of Shift to two, shift to two, or switch to, or shift to two, both are same. I will tell you, for example, anything I'll tell you. here. You see, here you are, you are in receipt voucher. We are writing now. I will press control G. Control G also is the same thing. We are going there now. If you press Alt G, I mean escape, we cannot go back to we came from we came from voucher that is receipt voucher that is voucher. Accounting voucher creation screen, we came here. Now if we escape, we will not come. No, it will not come here. It will go back to, the work will be closed. This is not the, what is it? The script is, I mean, uh, receipt voucher is showing, but it is not correct because the work will be closed. The work will not be there. Suppose we are making entry, that entry will not be there. Only this is there. So then we have to go, go back to gateway of tally. Okay, so that work will not be there in this voucher we are writing on the middle if you go to somewhere. When you come back by escaping, by pressing escape, when you come back to the this voucher, it will not be available. The work will not be available. Then you have to go to gateway of tally. So this again, this, this go to function is very, very useful. This fifth switch function will be rarely used. So whenever we are making entries at the later date, later time, 
then we will know we will know practically about the switch to function switch to function as well as go to function also we are doing something so from there in the case of actually we are making entries for gst then you can go to use go to function we can go to gst reports also gst reports percentage everything with the help of that you can finish the work easily understand so this is the features special features go to and shift to switch to or shift to both are same so go to is control alt g and shift to or switch to is is that what you call uh, control g so alt g and control g this is the feature special feature and after this we have to go for recording so but before recording we must know two topics two items because when you are recording that recording method will be different i mean you can record the transactions in two different ways you can record the transactions in two different ways okay so what are the different ways if you know all these when you are entering the transactions it will be very easy for us so instead of learning that if you directly go we feel some difficulty so if you learn them also there are two items one is double entry and single entry and one is debit and credit this is debit and credit 2 by i told you in the beginning that we will discuss tomorrow so in the last next video these two in single video we will finish then we will go to the actual recording of the transactions in the accounting vouchers so then the actual work actual our record so so far so many videos so many days we learned the background i mean all ground work we did what to do to record that from the next not next video or next video from the recording of reject voucher we are starting the actual recording from here after from actual recording you must be very careful you must be very careful okay so tomorrow we will take up these two features and how they are enabled and what are the meaning and why you should do that that we will do tomorrow in the next video and then we start the actual recording of the vouchers okay and so with this today's topic is uh, completed and now i'll tell you see i'm asking you requesting you please subscribe to my channel click the bell icon and select all all the videos will come to you as a notification you'll get notification for all the videos then share the channel with all the people all your friends then while watching the videos please watch the video till the end otherwise you to skip you lose you cannot understand the balance subject or balance topic and then after that you like the video click the thumb 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 that the thumb will be there you click that thumb it will be like so you like the videos and you complete your idea about this video any video your idea about the videos you just post a comment you post a comment below the video there is a comment section in that comments you post comment then i can understand about yourself also so that is the only communication between you and me that posting i mean comment is the only communication between you and me so if you post the communication then i can understand any problem you are facing and all that i can solve because if there are problems to many people in many ways and i can take all this all these problems i can make a video and solve the problems to you okay so this is the thing and you learn well and one more thing is when you start the actual recording of the transactions just simply by viewing the phone by seeing the phone you cannot know you can you'll learn, you, you will see that but that is difficult to learn it well so if you want to learn means you have to practice only three times four times if you practice all these entries and i will give some problems also if you solve them and if you practice them only two three times or four times only then you will learn well otherwise you cannot learn just by watching mobile you cannot learn so please we have some i mean for uh, regarding that you require tally tally means you have to download that means you have to require our correct all desktop or laptop so please arrange desktop or laptop on that i told in the first video beginning how to download how to install so you see that and you download and install the tally prime then use only the education version because we are not buying this license use the education version and you start learning as per the 
my guidance and you follow all the videos in the same order which i am uploading i am uploading i mean making the videos in a systematic way a then b then c like that in a systematic way steps 1 2 3 4 like that so you have to climb one after one only from one if you go to five you will fall down so in the middle you cannot understand like that you also follow my videos view all the videos in a systematic way that is in the exact order which i am uploading okay with this i hope y'all will get a very good knowledge expert knowledge and you will become a very good full-fledged perfect accountant not simply a data entry operator if a data entry operator anyone can do but you want to become a big i mean uh, exact i mean uh, full-fledged and perfect accountant you learn this videos you learn all the follow, follow all the videos and you learn well so with this i conclude this session so all of you again i am telling you congratulations i mean sorry all best of luck and wish all the best and thank you